This is the second video in, this, in the Pure Maths 1 algebra topic on indices, thirds and logarithms and in it we should be dealing with indices and looking at the arithmetic and algebra uh, involving indices. Now we know that if I write 2 cubed like that, that means um, 2 times 2 times 2 which is of course 8. Uh, we can multiply um, numbers involving um, indices um, like this. If we had 2 cubed times 2 squared that would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 squared which is 2 times 2. And we can see that altogether we have five twos multiplied by each other. And that we can write as two to the power of five. Well, we've got th what we've done here is added the three twos with the two twos. So we have two to the power of five is in fact two to the three plus two. Similarly, if we have five times five squared, that would be 5 times 5 squared, which is 5 times 5. We can see we have 3 fives multiplied, uh, which is 5 cubed, which of course um, came from, we have uh, 1 and 2, so that is 5 to the 1 plus 2. Uh, 5 is 5 to the power of 1. So we can see that 5 to the 1 times 5 squared is 5 to the 1 plus 2, which is 5 cubed. In general, a to the power of m times a to the power of n is a to the power of n, m plus n. You add the indices. And a can be any number, positive or negative, provided m and n are integers. Well, for the moment, we'll just deal with m and n being integers. Now, let's look at division. 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 squared. Well, that would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's 2 to the power of 5. And divided by is over 2 times 2, 2 squared. And to divide, what we can do, of course, is cancel. So we can cancel 1 two with that one and that two with that one and we're just left with two times two times two which is two cubed we can see that we can get the, the three in the index here by saying there were five twos on the top in the numerator and we've taken away two twos by cancelling with the two on the bottom so um, 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 squared is in fact 2 to the 5 take away 2 to get 2 cubed and again this works in general in general a to the m divided by a to the n is a to the m minus n and again for, that works for any number a provided m and n are integers and uh, one, one more rule, if we took uh, 5 squared and raised that to the power of 3, so it would be 5 squared cubed, what would that mean? Well, 5 squared of course is 5 times 5, and cubed means a multiplied uh, 3 of those together. So that would be 5 times ti 5 multiplied three times like this and we can see there we have altogether six fives multiplied together so that is five to the power of six uh, if we look at what we have we've got uh, three lots of two five so it's two times three so five squared cubed is actually 5 to the 2 times 3 like that which gives us the 5 to the power of 6 
Of course, if we evaluated uh, 5 cubed squared, we would get 5 cubed, or 5 times 5 times 5, multiplied by itself. So squared, and again, we have 6 lots of 5 multiplied, and so that is 5 to the power of 6, and we've done 5 to the um, 3 times 2, which of course is 5 to the 6. So in general, a to the m raised to the power of n is a to the m times n, or mn, and a can be any number provided m and n are integers, whole numbers. So we have three uh, rules of, for indices which you should learn and you, sh you need to know. So the uh, multiplication rule, a to the m times a to the n is a to the m plus n. The division rule, a to the n divided by a to the n is a to the m minus n. And the mul multiplication rule, a to the m, uh, sorry, the power rule, I suppose, a to the m to the power of n is a to the n times n. Now there's a, a, some more results we can derive from this. Let's consider um, 2 to the cube divided by itself, 2 cubed. Of course, this is just 1. 2, to, 2 times 2 times 2 divided by 2 times 2 times 2 all the twos cancel and we get one but by the uh, first indices rule here uh, or sorry the second indices rule i should say n to the a to the m divided by a to the n is a to the m minus n this should be two cubed minus uh, two to the power of three minus three two to the power of zero and so two to the power of zero must be the same as 1. Well, this would be true f for any number, uh, not just 2. Uh, we could have put um, 5 cubed divided by 5 cubed, or we could have had 5 to the power of 6 divided by 5 to the power of 6. We would get the same result, we get 1. And so we can have the general result, any number to the power of 0 is always equal to 1. And that's a general result that you need to know. Now consider uh, this one, 4 cubed divided by 4 to the power 5. Of course that means 4 times 4 times 4 divided by 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. And we can cancel 3 4s on the top, 3 on the bottom which leaves us with 1 on the top and 4 squared on the bottom 4 times 4 which is 4 squared and of course by the indices rule 4 cubed divided by 4 to the power 5 should be 4 to the 3 minus 5 or 4 to the minus 2 so it looks like uh, 4 to the minus 2 is equal to 1 over 4 squared. And this is the meaning of a negative in index. Because in, in general then, a to the minus n is equal to 1 over a to the n. That of course works when uh, for a any number provided n is a an integer, whole number. So we could have 5 to the power of minus 3 and that would be 1 over 5 cubed which of course equals 1 over 5 times 5 times 5 or 1 over 1 over um, 1 over 125 we could also write if we wish 5 cubed as 1 over 5 to the minus 3 now pause the video and try the, f the the following problems after which um, I will show you how to do them so 6 cubed is of course 6 times 6 times 6 which is just uh, 36 times 6 
uh, which is 216. 7 to the power of 0 is 1, as any number to the power of 0 is 1. And part C, uh, minus 5 to the power of 4, of course, is minus 5 times minus 5 times minus 5 times minus 5. We have four minuses, which is uh, a plus. And 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 is 5, 25, 125. 625. Two thirds cubed is two thirds times two thirds times two thirds, which of course would be uh, 8 over 27. Part E, 3 to the minus 2 is a negative index, so that is 1 over 3 squared, and 3 squared is 9, so that's 1 9. Um, 1 and a half to the minus 3, well, Write one and a half a mixed fraction and an improper fraction, which is three over two to the minus three. And because it's to the minus, I would have to do one over three over two. But one over three over two is two over three. The reciprocal of three over two is two thirds. So that's the same as two thirds to the power of three, positive three, which is two cubed over 3 cubed or 8 over 27 again 2 part a 2 to the power 5 times 2 cubed you add the indices 2 to the power of 8 part b 2 to the power of 15 divided by 2 to the power of 6 well it's division so we subtract the indices 15 to 8 6 is 9 and part c 2 to the power of 7 squared we multiply the indices we get 2 to the power of 14 now the rules also apply to algebraic expressions, so p squared times p cubed will be p to the 2 plus 3, or to p to the power of 5. t to the power of 5 divided by t cubed will be t to the power of minus 5 minus 3, we subtract because it's division, or t squared. Uh, note that if we had x squared times y cubed. Here we can't add the indices 2 and 3 because the bases are different, the bases being x and y. So there's no simpler way of writing that apart from to say x squared y cubed. Of course if it was x squared times x cubed then we could add the indices to give x to the power of 5. Simplify 3a squared cubed. Well when we have this, we have to cube both parts of this. So that would be 3 cubed times a squared cubed. 3 cubed is 27. a squared cubed, we multiply 2 by 3. 27, a to the power of 6. Uh, 2a cubed to the minus 2. For the negative indices, that negative acts on the whole thing and makes it a reciprocal. So 2a cubed all squared, which would be 1 over 2 squared times a cubed squared, which would be 1 over 4 a to the 6. Simplify this expression here, 3 a cubed times 4 a squared. Here uh, we have 3 a cubed, and then this squared acts on the 4 as well as the a, so that is times 16 a squared. We can multiply 3 times 16, that's 48. And a cubed times a squared, we add the indices to get a to the power of 5. Finally, 3 over x squared to the power of minus 3. Well, a negative indice index means 1 over 3 over x squared to the plus 3. And 1 over 3 over x squared, of course, you turn it upside down, so that would be x squared over 3 cubed which would be x squared cubed over 3 cubed and that is x to the power of 6 over 27. Now pause the video and try the following problems. Okay, 2p squared times 4p to the power of 5. We multiply 2 times 4, we multiply the numbers to give 8 and add the indices for the p 2 to the power of 
uh, p to the power of 2 plus 5 which is p to the power of 7 8 p to the power of 7 b p q q times p q squared well you collect up the p's and q's it will be p q times p times q times q squared and that would be p to the power of 4 q cubed part c uh, 6x to the power of 5 y to the 8 divided by 3x squared y we put that on the bottom uh, we can do 6 divided by 3 which is 2 and then the x is 5 x to the power of 5 divided by x squared we subtract the indices so 5 take away 2 is 3 so x cubed and y to the power of 8 and we have y on the bottom that's y to the power of 1 we would subtract 1 from 8 to get 7 so the answer would be 2x cubed y to the 7 part d x to the power of 8 times x to the minus 6 well we add the indices 8 plus minus 6 is 2 so that's x squared 8 minus 6 uh, part e y to the minus 2 times y to the minus 4 Adding the indices there, of course, minus 2 is plus minus 4 would be y to the power of minus 6. Which can be written uh, 1 over y to the plus 6, of course, 1 over y to the 6. Part f, y to the minus 2 divided by y to the minus 4, um, we must subtract. So that would be y to the minus 2 minus minus 4. And minus minus 4 is plus 4, of course. So that is minus 2, uh, y to the minus 2 plus 4. Minus 2 plus 4 is 2. So that is, in fact, y squared. Part g, 6p squared divided by 2p to the 7. That's 6p squared over 2p to the 7. 6 divided by 2 is 3. p squared divided by p to the 7. Subtract would be p to the minus 5, that's 2 minus 7, or we might write that as 3 divided by p to the power of 5. And finally, h, 2 to x to the minus 4 cubed. Well, uh, using the power rule for indices, uh, that would be 2 cubed um, times x to the minus 4 times 3 minus 12 2 cubed is 8 we could write x to the minus 12 1 over x to the 12 like that now that's the end of this uh, uh, video on indices uh, now you need to go back to study smart where there'll be another video on what happens when the uh, the, the, the values of the indices are not whole numbers and they are fractions.